today I'd like to talk to you about brand marketing versus direct marketing. Brand marketing is uh, the concept of taking something that's in the unconscious part of your brain and moving it to the conscious and making some type of a positive association with that. In contrast, direct marketing is effectively converting a prospect into a customer. Uh, in John uh, Jantish's book called Duct Tape Marketing, he talks about a concept called that, that, that basically the premise of it is says that, that in order for a customer to buy your product, he needs to know you exist, like your brand, and then trust you before they make a, a, a purchasing decision. The brand marketing, or what we sometimes call brand awareness, really kind of covers the know part. They know you're what you are, and perhaps even works a little bit with the like part of that know, like, trust continuum. Whereas the, the uh, direct marketing is, is really the building the trust and actually getting the customer to be converted from a prospect into a, uh, a, a customer of yours. So I'd like to talk a little bit right now focusing principally on the brand uh, awareness part. All right, Brand awareness is part of the... Uh, uh, kind of helps with the direct marketing effort. Unto itself, it doesn't uh, create sales. It's 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 there as a precursor to kind of help with the direct marketing effort. Uh, that said, uh, brand awareness campaigns need to be a constant effort. It's not something that you can just do one and done kind of a thing. It's something that you need to continue to kind of keep pushing forward to go ahead and create your brand awareness. However, it doesn't have to be an expensive effort on your particular part. But here, let's talk a little bit about some free methods to uh, create some brand awareness. Uh, one of them, a uh, very popular one, would be a, a press release. Uh, there's many press release sites out there. You can write a press release, release your uh, press release to them, and they'll publicly uh, distribute that to the various uh, organizations out there that do some of the press releases and may get picked up nationally depending on you know the, the quality of your, of your press release and the quality of your product and, and the timing of it. Uh, another a good advantage or another uh, no cost type of a thing is to uh, put together a, a, a message and, and contact your local television station. Uh, I know that uh, when I had an invisible fencing company, uh, which was rather a novel product at the time, we, uh, we went to all the local uh, networks at the time, ABC, NBC, CBS, uh, and each one of them picked up a public interest stories. And over the course of several weeks, uh, they played them. Remember, each one of those is just one single data point that goes out there as part of that brand messaging. You need to do quite a few of them. Uh, similarly, you can go to your local papers, your uh, uh, business uh, uh, authors there, the writers, uh, uh, journalists in the paper are always looking for uh, news stories uh, that they want to go ahead and in include. Uh, and so you create a public interest story, they'll, they'll be more than happy to kind of pick that up. Uh, getting away from the, the mass appeal kind of a thing, um, I've often found it a, a valuable trait to uh, create a poster uh, and essentially uh, find other like businesses and exchange posters. A good example is uh, uh, a sporting goods store uh, that sells golf clubs, for example, uh, might be a great place to uh, list a golf uh, a, a poster for a particular golf course in town and, and vice versa, where you go to the golf course and, and have the poster there for a, a local sporting goods store, those kind of things. Uh, again, Again, you're, you're, you're segmenting the population uh, as they're going to these particular things. And the last of the free kinds of things that, uh, that really kind of come to mind pretty quickly are, are things like Craigslist listings, those kind of things that you can generally do, and, and those are free. Um, here's a couple ideas, uh, generally under $10. Uh, business cards is a really good example. Um, I know that uh, when I was again invisible fencing, I would, uh, quite frankly, I would uh, take my uh, my kids to the mall. I would literally uh, drop them off on one end of a uh, uh, column of traffic, and I would instruct the the kids to eventually, you know, effectively walk down the uh, uh, the row of cars and uh, stick a business card in everybody's uh, uh, windshield uh, or uh, on the little rubber piece that uh, right above the door or something along that line. Some people may have some issues with that because, uh, you know, unwanted solicitation. People may think that, you know, throwing the business card away creates a, a bit of pollution. It's not an illegal thing. 
unless uh, essentially the uh, it says posted, uh, you know, no solicitors in the parking lot and so on and so forth. So it's not a legal thing. The most that the owner of the parking lot can tell you is uh, please don't come back, uh, uh, but it's not something you would get arrested for. Uh, this is something you may want to kind of take into consideration, especially if you target a business. Again, if we use that golf club uh, example right there, uh, if you were in front of a sporting goods store and, and you were uh, promoting your golf uh, uh, golf course, for example, uh, you know, you'd have a lot more segmented people actually going to that sporting goods store that might actually be golfers and that kind of stuff. Um, another a good example, we uh, just recently got done with an election and uh, every election year I see you know streets full of all kinds of uh, yard signs and so on and so forth, but those yard signs can clearly be extended to uh, include such things as uh, uh, marketing uh, about your particular company, especially if you're a, a house painter or a roofer or something like that where somebody can see your work. Uh, certainly while you're there Stick a yard sign in the in the you know in front of the property that you're working. Um, also at intersections, for example, uh, you may want to stick a yard sign out there. People are stopped at a uh, at a stoplight or a stop sign, for example. They may be glancing around as they slowly work their way to the front of the line uh, or, or wait for the light to turn green. Uh, it's a good place to have a yard sign where people can go ahead and, and actually see that. Uh, picket signs. Um, you know we associate picket signs with bad things about businesses and uh, organizations trying trying to uh, pick at a particular business, but uh, if you had a restaurant or you had a local business downtown uh, uh, and you send one of your idle employees with a picket sign to walk up and down the sign saying, you know, uh, eat at uh, Fred's Cafe or, uh, you know, shop at uh, Mildred's, uh, uh, you know, consignment shop or something along that line, uh, people would take notice because it's something that's out of the ordinary. People like things that are out of the ordinary and kind of kind of spot those kind of things and internalize those messages and bring them from the unconscious mind to the conscious mind pretty quickly. A couple ideas, uh, maybe cost a little bit more, maybe in the $75 range. Uh, uh, banners. Uh, they, uh, these are like canvas ba banners or like a vinyl type of banners. Usually they have uh, little uh, grommets or something like that that you can then hang with a bungee cord. Uh, frequently I see them uh, hanging on uh, chain link fences in the school or uh, most recently I saw a, a gentleman selling bonsai trees on the side of the road and he quite uh, he had a, a banner that uh, literally ran the entire length of his car and so uh, when you drove up obviously you could see the bonsai trees but you definitely saw that you know he was uh, selling those bonsai trees with that banner. Uh, generally, you can have those professionally produced for, for under $75. Um, as tax time nears, uh, most people uh, have often seen those uh, people sitting there or actually open house guys. Uh, they'll have those spinning signs. Uh, usually there's a, a gentleman or a gal that's sitting there listening to some kind of music and, and spinning a sign around, maybe a little arrow pointing, you know, open house this way or, you know, we do taxes kind of a thing. And, and certainly the movement of that uh, generates something that's out of the ordinary, something that you wouldn't expect to see, and, and consequently people kind of focus on that. Uh, ever popular is the uh, magnetic door sign that you uh, might put on a uh, on a vehicle. Uh, generally those are maybe $30, $35 a piece to have them professionally produced, uh, and then you, you know, a pair of them on each one of the doors. Uh, uh, you know, still again under $75. Again, uh, this is a, a relatively cheap thing. The beauty of this is uh, when you're using your vehicle for personal reasons, you can take it off. When you're using it for business reasons, you can go ahead and put them on. And for the people who are a little bit more uh, uh, permanent, uh, maybe a fleet vehicle or something, uh, certainly something that you wouldn't be uh, driving the kids to soccer practice with, or, or maybe so, uh, maybe a, a more permanent uh, situation is uh, decals uh, that literally uh, stick to the uh, uh, stick to the car uh, on a door. Most of those can be had uh, for under about seventy-five dollars for a pair of a pair of them as well. Uh, some a little bit slightly more uh, expensive, but uh, provide a, a little bit uh, a greater visibility. Uh, let's say somewhere in the neighborhood of under $150. Uh, uh, we often see uh, cars, uh, especially pizza delivery, are very popular. Uh, they'll put one of those lighted signs on the roof of a vehicle. Uh, that's uh, certainly a way to get uh, some uh, exposure as you're driving, especially in the evening. If your business uh, caters to um, uh, people in the evening, you drive around, everybody notices that lighted sign on the roof of your uh, of your vehicle. Uh, costumes is an interesting, uh, another avenue. Usually many of those costumes can be purchased uh, for under 150. Uh, uh, we've all seen them on the side of the road. Uh, somebody maybe dressed up as a hot dog or uh, Lady Liberty or uh, maybe a big chicken <laughs> advertising a Wings franchise or something along that line. 
Uh, another uh, popular piece is uh, sandwich boards. Um, we often see them uh, particularly in restaurants. A uh, sandwich board is essentially one of those little A-frame deals that sit maybe on the sidewalk. It's printable on both sides. Uh, and for about 150 bucks, you actually it's half the price of that to actually buy the, the sandwich board, about another half to, uh, to get it professionally uh, uh, printed up. Uh, the nice part about sandwich boards is you can move them from uh, leave them at an intersection, uh, uh, as we did with those uh, uh, the signs earlier, the uh, uh, yard signs, and uh, these are slightly larger, uh, but the beauty of them is they quite can be moved quite a bit. I often see them when they're advertising a football game or something along that line. Um, there's also the wearable version. We've all seen movies uh, uh, like uh, Las Vegas Vacation, where a gentleman is sitting there walking around with a, two pieces of like cardboard in front of him, and uh, he's walking up and down the street. Uh, cardboard is kind of, you know, connected with a piece of ribbon or something along that line. They actually make wearable ones, uh, similar in price to the stand-up uh, A-frame type sandwich boards. Uh, um, so that's uh, certainly another another option for you to make. Uh, or you can either make them or, or purchase them. Uh, and and last among those those particular items there in about the $150 range is uh, using a public address system. Uh, we often see uh, uh, old movies, for example, where they'll uh, you'll see a, a vehicle driving down the road and it'll have a speaker on the roof and inside the car somebody will either be uh, playing a tape with a with a, a message on there or um, you know talking about a particular candidate. Uh, very popular for me growing up in, in the city. Uh, I saw a lot of uh, uh, ice cream trucks. They would play music, and uh, it was like the Pie Piper. When that music would play, the kids could hear it, and they would go running to go off and do that again. That's a great way to create uh, brand awareness in a relatively cheap way at under 150 bucks, especially if you're if you're selling direct business to consumer. Uh, some other ideas for some low cost um, uh, marketing efforts. Uh, not so much a price thing. Some of these are probably a little bit over $150, but uh, a wall painting, for example. We often see a barn, so we call, call them barn paintings. Um, driving across the country in, in my many uh, many trips, uh, I couldn't help but uh, see uh, uh, like mail pouch tobacco was real popular in, in doing a barn a barn painting and those kind of things. And I've often seen many a barn uh, printed with a with a message. And so certainly that same buildings, you know, brick buildings, that kind of stuff. Uh, it doesn't have to be painted on. It could be a, a big old like a you know. A, a banner or something like that that you would you would paste up against a brick wall or something like that. Another uh, popular one uh, somewhere maybe in the hundred and fifty dollar range again is uh, uh, what are sometimes called air dancers. Uh, we've all seen them. They're they're also called uh, tube dancers. Uh, uh, they generally uh, are, have a big fan in them, and they usually has a, a gentleman. The air blows up through there, and their arms wave, and their bodies undulate, and and so on and so forth. And they can be placed outside of your uh, business, and and many people can spot that and, and direct their attention from maybe where they're pointing, you know, looking down the road ahead of them, and then turning their head to spot you or something like that. Parade floats. Uh, um, you know, each year we have uh, Christmas parades and Thanksgiving parades and those kind of things that run through town. Kind of Patrick's Day parade. This is a great way to take a trailer or something like that, put your message on it, and include that as part of a parade float. Uh, generally, they're things that you'd make at home and uh, not not very expensive. Um, Theater ads. Uh, if you go to the movie theater, for example, we often see uh, uh, the when you get to the movie a little bit early, they'll have a little ad popping up. Maybe they'll have some little, uh, you know, Hollywood trivia and stuff. But then in the middle of that, they'll have a a little ad for a particular business or something like that. Those are generally pretty affordable on a daily basis, although you might have to uh, sign up for a rather longer contract. Uh, another uh, another avenue, especially if you're a grand opening or something like that, I don't know that this would be a, a, something that you may want to consider a long term kind of a thing. Uh, but a searchlight, uh, ones that you know they search the skies and uh, and they move around and it creates a very much of a curiosity and people are forced to go back and see what the origin of that searchlight is to go ahead and, and find them. Uh, and lastly, I've got a couple kind of uncommon uh, uh, brand awareness types of things. Um, uh, as a as a gentleman uh, going into a, a bars where the, or, or some other form there where they have uh, men's rooms and ladies rooms uh, very particular in bars uh, above the urinal will be a, a board with a bunch of uh, ads space on it. Let's face it, your gentlemen are sitting there. They've got uh, a minute or so uh, while they're emptying their bladder. They, uh, they have nothing else to do except for stare straight ahead and. And they're, you're a captive audience for, for roughly a minute. Public transportation is another.
another one, uh, whether it's uh, uh, taxi cabs uh, on the trunk, you sometimes see those little ads as they drive around town, uh, whether it's the side of a particular bus or something along that line. These are uh, ways to get your message, and, and these buses and taxis are driving around anyway all day long, and so uh, they're carrying your message forward. Uh, and lastly, uh, bench ads, uh, especially if, uh, if, if the target of your uh, uh, people are um, uh, people who may not have their own vehicles or, 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 or you know, a, a bus bench uh, may be a great place to have that or the enclosures where they might sit waiting for a bus. Uh, depending if you live in the city, that's a very popular uh, way to go do that. So thanks for watching. And here's these are some basic ideas on brand awareness. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.